can hear me, just type yes. If you can hear me clearly, please type yes. Um, mm -hmm. If the voice is clear. And then at the same time, I just wanted to check if you could see our screen. Um, can you see my screen? Please type yes, if you can see the screen. So the screen basically says um, it's we are Immigration Advisors New Zealand Limited and this is our webinar. Okay, great. Thank you for, thank you for saying yes, Dipani, Charith, Florence, Nagraj, thank you. Naveen, thank you. Um, also, we just wanted to check how far we have reached. Like, you know, if you could please type in from which part of the world you are right now, that will be really good to know. So we are we are um, live here from New Zealand. Okay, I'm, I'm getting responses. We have viewers from Fiji, Sri Lanka, Bohol, Philippines. Hello, Po, Mabuhay. Um, and then we have from South Korea, Barkas from South Korea, Naveen from Fiji, Florence from Chennai, India. Welcome. Welcome in today's webinar. And um, at this part, I would like to say thank you for giving us your time um, and joining us in today's webinar. I have Piyumi from Sri Lanka. Welcome. Welcome to all our attendees. It's a pleasure. Um, and thank you for giving us your time. Um, since I have already um, con confirmed that you can hear me and you can see my screen, um, just a very short um, house, house rules in today's webinar. So please be informed that um, all the questions uh, should be put in the Q&A box um, instead of putting it here in the chat box where you have been responding um, to my questions, you will need to put them in the Q&A box, okay? So we have a Q&A portion uh, in today's webinar. So once we reach that Q&A portion, we will then answer the questions one by one. So in order for us to be easier to answer the questions um, accordingly, uh, please put them all in the Q&A box, all right? Everything okay? Are we good to go to all the viewers? Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you for confirming that. Um, anyway, let me start by um, introducing myself. All right. I am Leah Howe. Um, I am the Legal Assistant of Immigration Advisors New Zealand. I come from the Philippines and um, I will be hosting uh, in today's webinar. Okay. And of course, before we start the webinar, I would like to give a short introduction about our company. Um, we are Immigration Advisors New Zealand Limited. We are an Education New Zealand recognized agency with a group of five licensed immigration advisor. Uh, we have been in the education industry for more than 20 years now and the immigration industry for more than 10 years. Of course, we are a New Zealand-based organization. We are based here in Auckland, New Zealand. And because of that, we have the knowledge, the local knowledge, and of course, the local support. And at the same time, we are, of course, liaising with the education providers here in New Zealand. Why choose us? So why choose us when you want to process for your migration journey here at New Zealand? So first of all, we are a multinational organization that speaks your language. We have, um, we speak, we have from Nepal, we have from Sri Lanka, we have from India, we have from Saudi Arabia, and we have from Philippines. So we are really a multinational organization and that is why um, we can, cater different kinds of market from all over the world. And of course, we provide streamlined contactless and top-notch service. So we communicate mainly um, most of the time online. So, which is very handy because wherever you are from all over the world, we can definitely reach you and we can definitely um, provide you our services. And of course, we are always updated. We are innovative and productive. And of course, the best thing is our initial consultation is free. So whenever you need um, 
any guidance to initiate your process um, in migrating here in New Zealand, our initial consultation is free. So I think that that is like one of the good start in um, doing your process in migrating here in New Zealand. So um, without further ado, I will introduce you to one of our um, hosts or guest speaker tonight, which is of course, um, which is of course none other than um, Ms. Van den Rai. She is our Senior Licensed Immigration Advisor here at Immigration Advisors New Zealand Limited. And of course, she is also our director. So um, Vandana, would you like to say hi to our viewers? Thank you, Leah. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to this webinar. Uh, so we will try and give you as, as much information as possible for two institutes that we, um, we have, uh, we, we are covering today, Toy Homoi and WITT. And apart from that, uh, we would try and give you as much information as possible on uh, why study in New Zealand? What are the benefits if you study in New Zealand? How do you compare uh, the courses, the benefits, the post-study options here in New Zealand? So we'll try and uh, give all that op all those options as well. So New Zealand is a beautiful country. Apart from the beauty, you have a lot of other opportunities here as well. So if you're thinking of studying, and if you're thinking of studying in, um, in an overseas country, I would suggest uh, do research and do consider New Zealand as well. A lot of benefits on um, the, the various options that you have for the courses, a lot of benefits on what are the options post completion of your study. Uh, New Zealand has recently announced a green list which, which kind of aligns the study uh, opportunities with a pathway to residence. So that really gives a lot of confirmation to a lot of you who are wanting to see a confirmation or a path post completion of study as well. So that really uh, gives a clarity to a, a lot of you. So we'll be covering a lot uh, of all this um, in our webinar. And um, uh, if you have any question on immigration, on your study options, please do keep typing it on in the Q&A and we will be covering those uh, questions in the end of the session. Um, especially if you are you are married, you have kids and you have questions around the immigration rules that may apply to your partner, to your kids, apart from the study questions that you may have, feel free to put in those questions as well in the Q&A and we would cover those at the end of the webinar. So thank you so much. Over to you, Leah. Thank you so much, Vandana, for that introduction. Um, of course, I will not wait you any longer. I will just have to quickly tell you the scope of today's webinar. So um, today's scope, it will be all about WITT and Toyomai. Uh, we will be discussing the wide variety of courses that is being offered from both institutions. And at the same time, we will be discussing student eligibility criteria. What are the scholarships available? the impact of green lace, the career progression, and of course, the residence pathway. All right, that is the scope for today's webinar. And I will not make our another guest um, speaker for tonight. So I will introduce him. So let me introduce you, Mr. Paramdeep Singh. Uh, welcome, Mr. Parandeep Singh. Um, he is WITT's Vice President, so WITT Global. He is the pres Vice President, and at the same time, he is the Senior Advisor of the International um, Department of Toy Ohomai. So, Mr. Parandeep Singh, would you like to say hi to our viewers today? Thank you, Leah. Uh, good evening, everyone from New Zealand. Uh, as Vandana Ji mentioned, it's such a beautiful, safe country. And I will say now, actually, with this current immigration refresh policy, in which they have announced this green list and other things, I think New Zealand is very fair and ethical. So they actually want only students to come in those programs which have high career outcome, which have high employment outcome. So they don't want you to come for any willy-nilly program. They don't want to waste you your money. So that shows New Zealand is very fair and ethical. And that's why people actually love this uh, country. As, as previous students or previous migrants, a lot of them have got permanent residency. Almost 200,000 people were able to get permanent residency as per the policy announced in last October. So today also we will be talking more about uh, all the programs which are in the green list or highly career-oriented programs, all the postgraduate and masters 
and that gives you a very good overview of the both institutes. Both are government institutes around 60 year old, Western Institute of Technology in Taranaki and Toyohomai Institute of Technology. So Leah, you let me know whether when you want to show the video of institute yep. first, and yes. then I can come back. Sure, Paramdeep. So to start off, we will start off with why study Toyohomai. We will be playing a short video clip for our audience now. And then after the video clip, you can continue your discussion, Paramdeep. So I'll be playing the video now. This is why study at Toyohomai. What is it that makes Toy Ohomai Institute of Technology the best study option for you in what will certainly be your greatest life experience? It's New Zealand's third largest government-owned institute of technology with the newest equipment. It's the high-quality education with small class sizes in an inclusive, supportive and safe environment. It's choosing from an extensive range of over 150 programs from diploma to master's level. and it's the helpful and friendly staff. It's knowing my pathway and being work ready and armed with the skills that I need to succeed. It's having the best resources available when I need them. It is the real world learning style from the high quality staff that care about my success. It's connecting with the like-minded people. It's been connected with professional partnership in business and industry. It's having an authentic skill experience in one of the safest countries in the world. It's experiencing the local sites. It's relaxing between classes. It's having six main campuses super close to Auckland. It's why my personal culture is welcome, because Toyo Hamai makes me a global citizen. It's clear blue skies, golden sand beaches. It's a day in paradise. Hey guys, wait up! It is this place, it's us, it's you, that makes Toy Ohomai Institute of Technology your best option for high quality education and a once in a lifetime experience. No mai, hara mai, whakoto mai, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. All right, um, that is a very uh, motivating video. Actually, I graduated from the same school. Um, I took postgraduate diploma in management business level eight. So definitely a very inspiring video. So Paramdeep, I will hand it over again to you now to discuss further on why to study at Toyomai. Yep. So thank you, Leah. And no so you can see our graduates are working all around New Zealand and especially one with the immigration advisor. 
and she has been a very good staff member. That's the feedback we get. So Toy Home I, as, as you have seen in the video, it's around 50 year, 50 year old institute. The two main campuses are in Rotorua and Taranga. Rotorua is known as one of the most beautiful city with 18 lakes. I also live in Rotorua and Taranga is known as the fastest growing city of New Zealand with the biggest seaport of New Zealand is also in Taranga. So right now in July intake, we got the nominated students. We got around 110 nominations approved. And out of that around 100 students will be joining us in July. That will be our first sort of intake after two years. And then now we have an October intake and then February intake. In October intake, we have uh, limited programs um, because of the, all these issues, a uh, little bit with the staff, but we have the programs which are sort of very highly employment outcome. So starting with postgraduate in management or master of management. So postgraduate in management is one year and in which we require a person with a degree, 50% or above marks, 6.5 band with no band less than six. So one year study and one year post-study work visa. It has three specialization, business, health, and hospitality. Health is the most popular one in which all bachelor of nursing, uh, uh, students, physiotherapists, pharmacy graduate, BDS, MBBS, Ayurvedic doctor, homeopathy doctor, all of these can come. And so in same way, we have Master of uh, Applied Management, uh, which has three strands, business, health, and hospitality. Uh, again, health is the most popular one because it's an 18 months master. And as per the current immigration policy, the spouse get full-time work rights while studying this master's and they can bring their kids also. Vanna ji will explain a little bit more about this because she's a licensed immigration advisor. We can mainly talk about studies and licensed immigration advisor can talk about visa, uh, work permit and other, other things. So health, again, bachelor of nursing, uh, uh, pharmacy graduate, homeopathy graduate, BDS, Ayurvedic doctor, MBBS doctor, they all can come in there. So for master of management, we need one year work experience and 65% marks in uh, degree. PG, we need only 50%. And PG is the first year of master. So master of management fees is 29,950. Postgraduate diploma fees is 20,950. That 29,950, which I told you, that is for whole 18 months. That's an 18 months duration. And you get three year post-study work visa after that. And in the same actually master of management suite, we have one another very interesting master, which is known as Master of Management by Research. So, which we haven't mentioned here, but that's okay. So that is the most popular masters right now. You have a one year master, and in this student can work full time. In other programs, students are able to work 20 hours per week. In term break, summer break, semester break, they can work full time. And as you know, minimum wage in New Zealand is now $21.20. But Master of Management by Research, student can work full time. And it's a one year master. So the eligibility for that is either an honors degree or a postgraduate diploma, or if somebody has done MBA or MCOM or MA in economics. So these people can come in master management of research. In this one, 50% marks and degree is enough, but we need a brief research proposal. The template is available on our website, but make sure you make your own research proposal. Don't copy and paste anything because most of the admissions get denied if there is any plagiarism. So if it is research work is in your own words, you can come in this one year master fees is only 23,500. And you can bring your family also, spouse can come on work rights and kids can also come. Primary and secondary schooling is free for the kids. And after one year of this master, you get again three year of post-study work visa. So first three months of this master is one day a week, you have to attend a class in which you will finalize your research proposal and research methodology. After that, for another six months, you can stay anywhere in New Zealand and finish your research. Just stay in touch with your supervisor and keep on updating him or her how your research is going so that they can make sure that you are progressing well. So that is the most interesting master and there's a lot of interest in that, especially for the people in work or people who just want to come for short and sharp program. In, in, and in this one, age is also sort of a, not a limit. Before COVID, we got another around 42-year-old student who had 25 years of experience in KPMG. They also got the visa. Then third one is we have started Bachelor of Applied Hospitality and Tourism. So as you know, tourism is the number one industry in New Zealand. So there are a lot of scope. Around 3 million tourists before COVID were visiting New Zealand. And now 
the tourism is picking up and there is a huge shortage in hospitality and tourism. If you are watching New Zealand news channel every day, they are saying people are crying in hospitality and tourism industry because there is no uh, very few people available. Most of the people who have got permanent residency, some of them have shifted their career and, and New Zealand is now booming. People want to come and visit New Zealand because they see it as a safe uh, and a very beautiful destination to travel. So, so the graduates will have definitely very, very good employment outcome. And even now also, I can almost assure everyone, as soon as you land within two weeks of landing, you will get a part-time job also, starting with $21.20. So if you have plus two arts or commerce, you can come into Bachelor of Applied Hospitality. We need six band with no band less than 5.5. So first year fees is 19,950, second year is 15,950, third year is 14,950. And after three years of degree, you get three year of post-study work visa. By chance, if you have 5.5 band hours, then you can come New Zealand Diploma in Hospitality Level 5, leading on to Bachelor of Applied Hospitality. Uh, so the only difference in, in this is you can come with 5.5 band, but at the end of New Zealand Diploma Level 5, you have to demonstrate that you are at a six band level and then you enter into second year of bachelor degree. So altogether duration is three also in that also. Like if you come straight, then also you are studying three years. If you come with 5.5 band pathway, then also you will study three years because New Zealand Diploma in Hospitality is first year of the degree. But only thing is in this one, because you have studied Bachelor Applied Hospitality for two years, you get two year post-study work visa. But again, plenty of jobs and and it's a very beautiful profession to be in hospital. You can work anywhere in New Zealand. Rotorua especially because it's a tourist town. People, a lot of people visit here. There are a lot of tourist space, like uh, you have seen in the video also. Plenty of jobs available. We have our own career and employability person, which works with you, makes good CV and gets you contacted with the local employer. And it's a safe and, uh, and clean and uh, risk-free destination. And being a government institute, you get all the facilities uh, in this institute. So looking forward to see your applications for October intake. And then in February intake, we have all the programs available. We have Master of Applied Professional Study. We have Master of Early Childhood also. We have Graduate Diploma in Health and Rehabilitation also. We have um, Bachelor in Applied Management also. We have Grad Dip in Infection Risk Management. So there are a lot of programs available. Basically in February intake, all the programs are available. In October intake, only limited. And in October intake, the other advantage you will have is you will study for around six weeks period, and then you will go on summer vacation. So sort of from 15th of December till end of February, you will have summer break. And in that break, you can work full time. And there are so many jobs right now. And on an average, students are not earning minimum wage. Nowadays, employer is giving you around 24 to $25. And you work 20 hours, you earn around $500 a week. And the cost of living, if you rent, uh, share a flat, so that comes to around $200. So you can save also $300 a week. So this is a very good time to come to New Zealand. And rest, Vanna Ji will explain you later on about visa and your PR pathway later on. So we can go to WITT. You can show yeah. the video first. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much, Paramdeep. Um, we will not let our viewers wait. So we will now proceed to WITT. No mai, hari mai. Welcome to WIT, Western Institute of Technology at Taranaki. Each year we will welcome students from around the world to study bachelor's degrees, diplomas and graduate diplomas. WIT is a government-owned polytechnic known for its hands-on learning, giving students practical skills with plenty of real-world application. Our class sizes are small, which means students get more face-to-face -face time with our industry-experienced students. With up to 400 hours of industry placement for some programs, our students are work ready before they even graduate, and most of our graduates are in work or further study. WIT has strong links with local industry, including the healthcare and engineering sectors, the hospitality industry, and local businesses. Our dedicated industry placement and employment coordinator is here to help you find part-time work while you study and full-time work when you graduate. New Zealand is one of the safest and friendliest places. In 2019, we were named the world's second most peaceful country by the Global Peace Index. WIT is ahead of the benchmark. 88% of our international students are satisfied with their experience. Students enjoy WIT because they feel welcome and supported. 
People here are friendly and welcoming, and we're proud to have a diverse campus with a rich mix of cultures. With dedicated support staff, including accommodation and employment, free healthcare and learning support, you'll feel safe and connected as part of the WIT family. Upgraded facilities on campus include a $1 million commercial kitchen, a state-of-the-art nursing simulation lab, plus shared spaces like cafes, computer suites, and a brand new gym that's free for students. At WIT, our facilities are up to date and really high tech, so whatever we learn in the simulation lab, we can use in the hospital because the technology is exactly the same. WIT's main campus is located in New Plymouth, a safe and bustling town in the Tararaki region on New Zealand's beautiful west coast. It's an affordable option for students with a lower cost of living than major New Zealand cities. Known for its natural beauty and landscape, it's a great place to get outdoors and explore nature whether it's on the coast, the mountain, or in our native bush. New Plymouth has a thriving food and cultural scene with major events throughout the year creating a buzz for locals and tourists alike. The place itself is really welcoming. The people are really nice. This feels like home away from home. Make WIT your home away from home. Be your best at WIT. Apply now. So, as mentioned... Over to you, yeah. Yeah, as mentioned in the video. I'm oh, sorry. No, my Something there. Okay. It, yeah, it is um, Western Institute of Technology, Taranaki. Taranaki is a name of state. The city where this institute is, New Plymouth. So that city has been declared as the most livable city in the world by Lonely Planet, which is a world organization. So that means it's a very safe, very friendly and uh, economical also to live in the city. So New Plymouth is the city. And again, it has, New Plymouth has the second highest GDP per capita in uh, New Zealand, around $90,000 per earning per, uh, per household. So which means there are a lot of job opportunities over there. So people are able to find a lot of work in industry. And uh, it is now as uh, part of Tipu Kinga. Tipu Kinga is a, a governing body basically all the ITPs or Polytechnic will be part of Tipu Ginga from 1st of January. So we will become uh, WITT New Plymouth, part of Tipu Ginga, which is New Zealand Institute of Skills and Technology. So they have got uh, around now two intakes, again, September intake and uh, November intake. So WIT is also giving $3,000 scholarship in 2022 to all the students and uh, four weeks of accommodation up to $600. So you come and stay for four weeks and you will get $600 from the Institute for that accommodation. And local transportation is free for the duration of your study. So you show your ID card and you can travel anywhere in the city any number of time. That comes to around $1,500 per annum. So they are giving a lot of extra benefit to the students. So the main courses now which they have in uh, September intake is, one is graduate diploma in highway engineering. So this program is in green list also. So you study one year, of this graduate diploma, you get one year of post-study work visa. So this is ideal for uh, ideal for Bachelor of uh, Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering, or uh, Bachelor uh, of Arts with non-medical as the subject, BSc non-medical. So these people can enter into graduate diploma in highway engineering. This is the most popular program, 99% employment rate within, that means within two months of graduation, all the people are able to get the jobs and the average salary is around $75,000. That is the starting salary, what these graduates are getting. And then the other program in green list is a New Zealand Diploma in Civil Engineering, which is ideal for, sorry, for grad dip in, if you have bachelor degree, we need only 50% marks in degree, six band with no band less than 5.5, or PT is also okay with 50 with no, uh, no module less than 42. Fees is around $21,000, but if you get a $3,000 scholarship, that uh, remains around $18,000 and it's a one year program only. So New Zealand Diploma in Civil Engineering is very good for uh, the students who have done plus two non-medical. 50% marks in non-medical is okay. You need six band with no band less than 5.5 or PT score of 50 with no module less than 42. First year fees is around 20,000 with after scholarship come to 17 and second year fees is only 15,900. So you study two years of diploma, you get two year of post-study work visa. Same way they have New Zealand Diploma in Construction Management, which has a strand in Construction Management and Quantity Surveying. So that is in, in this one, plus two art student or plus two commerce student can also come. 50% above marks, six band with no band less than 5.5 is required. 
So the construction management and quantity surveying both are in green list as well. And then they have bachelor also in civil engineering and mechanical engineering. So bachelor is three years degree and you get three year post-study work visa. And in bachelor degree, if somebody has done diploma in India, like diploma in civil engineering after 10th or 12th, or diploma in mechanical after 10th or 12th, we are able to give either one year or one and a half year cross credit, depending on what sort of grades you have got in those diploma. So what it means is if you have done those diplomas in your home country, you can just apply to WITT and ask for cross credit. So, but only thing is if you get one year cross credit, you study two year engineering degree, you get two year post-study work visa. Uh, so the, num the time period spent on studying the degree is the time period for which you get the post-study work visa. Then they have postgraduate diploma in applied management, business analytics, which is uh, again in long-term still shorter list. They have postgraduate diploma in applied management, specialization in healthcare management. They also have postgraduate diploma in applied management, supply chain and logistics. So in business analytics, BCom, BBA people, that will be really good. In uh, supply chain management, Bachelor of Arts student, BBA, BCom can come. In healthcare management, again, uh, nursing, physiotherapist, pharmacy, all those students with 50% marks and degree, 6.5 band with no band less than six can come. And $3,000 scholarship is available to everybody. So in November intake, all these programs are available. And on top of that, in November intake, they do have Bachelor of Applied Management, which is a three-year degree and you get three-year post-study work visa. And again, plus two arts and plus two commerce students can come into that with six band. But if you have 5.5 band, then we have New Zealand Diploma in Business Level 5 leading on to Bachelor of Management. You can enter into 5.5 and then later on when you're going into second year of management degree, you just need to demonstrate that you are at six band level. You get uh, enter into that and study two more years and you get bachelor degree. The other advantage in this is we have the approval to offer New Zealand Diploma in Business online offshore. So till November, if you enroll now, you can do a couple of paper online and every paper you are getting 70% fees discount. Mm -hmm. Say for example, you have done two papers, normal fees for those two paper, paper is around $2,000 per paper. But when you are doing online offshore, you get that paper for $500. And we cross credit that uh, to you when you are coming to New Zealand. And you save in the process, you save around $3,000. If you have done three paper, you save around $4,500. And the teaching and everything is all done from New Zealand. So you just need a computer with good internet access and our teachers will be teaching you from here. So you can utilize that time. You won't waste your time till November. You can till November, you can do actually three or four papers if you're interested in coming for Bachelor of Applied Management. And in November, we do also have available Bachelor of uh, Nursing. No other institute in New Zealand has that Bachelor of Nursing available. So if you have plus two medical, 6.5 band in each module, or PTE 58 in each module, you can come into three year of Bachelor of Nursing. Bachelor of Nursing is the most, nursing is the most noble profession in New Zealand. And right now salaries are also quite high around 60 to $65,000 per annum students are earning. And if you see the news, New Zealand needs 4,000 nurses right now. So this will be a very good opportunity for you to come in November intake. And if you have done a GNM or some diploma in nursing from India or anywhere else, you can get one year cross credit also. So that means you can finish your Bachelor of Nursing degree in two years and you can come in November intake. November intake is mainly you will study for three to four weeks and after that again you will go on summer break and uh, uh, you can work full time in your summer break. And in November intake we are also starting. So there are a lot of people with six band and they are not able to reach 6.5 band level. So what we have started for them is they can come into the graduate diplomas leading on to postgraduate. So basically you will study 18 months to 24 months and then you will get one year post-study work visa. And other advantage in this is graduate diploma leading on to postgraduate. You don't have to repeat your IELTS again. You can enter with the six band and as soon as you pass your graduate diploma, your admission in confirmed in postgraduate. Say for example, graduate diploma in accounting will be very good leading on to postgraduate diploma in business analytics. We have graduate diploma in hospitality leading on to postgraduate diploma in management. We have graduate diploma in supply chain management leading on to postgraduate in supply chain management. So that way, this is a very good career pathways available, which you can choose in November intake. And in first year, you get $3,000 scholarship also, as I mentioned, four weeks of accommodation up to $600, you will get that also, and you will get local transportation is free. And again, as, as mentioned in the video, 
so that in all these both these institutes or any other institutes in New Zealand, uh, especially the Tipu Kinga Polytechnic uh, courses, they are very applied and practical. So like when we compare, like India system is still like a cramming based system, but New Zealand system is competency assessment based system. That means whatever we teach you, we make sure you apply that practically so that it becomes permanent in your head. It's a very good way of learning. You are known by your names. Uh, teachers are very good. You can ask questions 10 times. Uh, they're very empathetic towards international students. And I've been living in New Zealand for the last 25 years. I haven't touched wood. I haven't faced any racism or anything. People are very friendly. If you have very good communication skills, your positive attitude, you will get job. Doesn't matter whether you're Indian, Chinese, Philippine, Korean. So people just go on your communication skills, honesty, attitude. So these are the three most important things to get settled in New Zealand. So looking forward to see some applications and looking forward to answer your questions also. So over to you, Leah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Paramdeep, uh, for that very informative session. So without further ado, we are now proceeding to the Q&A portion. So thank you to our attendees for typing in all their questions in the Q&A box. So we will now be answering them one by one. I will be joined by Archana Sivada. So we will alternately answer questions. Um, and we will ask them to either uh, Paramdeep or Vandana. So should I start, Archana? Yes, please. Yes, Leah, you can start. Okay. So I'll be I'll be selecting um one question. Okay. If I so if I get to select Masters of Teaching. Will, okay, this is a immigration related question. Um, I will ask it over to you, Vandana. So the attendee is asking if she is applying for a master's in teaching program in New Zealand, will her spouse and kids be allowed to travel with her when she leaves India and go here to New Zealand? New Zealand? Yeah, thanks, Leah. So, um... My answer to this question is, if, if you're applying for a master's program in teaching, your partner is eligible to apply for a partnership-based work visa. Your kids, depending upon their age, are eligible to apply for a dependent child student visa or a dependent child visitor visa. Whether all of you could travel at the same time or not would really depend on when the application was submitted, how decision ready the applications were when they were submitted, and what were the processing time for each application. So if the intake is, uh, is you know, is this few months um, for, the, for the student intake and the applications were submitted much in advance, that is a possibility, but I would not confirm anything until I have more information. So what I would suggest is stay in touch and I could then let you know what are the processing times once the borders open. But yes, the option is for the family to travel to New Zealand, whether all of them can travel together or there would be some time, time lapse would depend upon a lot of other external factors as well. All right, thank you so much. Vandana for answering that question. Um, Archana, have you have yes. you got the question? Yes, 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 I have. Thank you. Um, so Ms. Vandana, the next question is how long exactly after completion of a master's in early childhood teaching would um, I get my teacher's registration in New Zealand? Um, so that's a process, uh, you know, wherein you will have to submit your course completion documents, apply for the registration, and it's it doesn't take too long, but it's a process. I won't be able to let you know the exact time frames because it keeps changing depending upon the workload, but that doesn't take too long. Um, previously, our clients would not have uh, you know, got the registration delayed by more than four to eight weeks. So within that time frame, if the applications were completed uh, in all aspects. Um, and yes, once you complete the program, you do need registration before you could um, start working as a registered uh, a professional or a registered teacher. 
but that's if you're meeting all the requirements you've completed a qualification which makes you eligible for the registration and that should not take too long so don't be concerned on whether you'll just have to keep sitting idle uh, without that registration so that probably would be a streamlined process over to you leah yeah all right thank you artana thank you vandana so um another question we have here um I think this can be answered by both of you and Parabdeep. So, um, is the mass what is the core course fee for the Master of Management, and how many years of post study work visa will we be getting from there? If you do Master of Management by coursework, which is eighteen months, then the fees is twenty nine thousand nine hundred fifty, and you get three year of post study work visa. If you do master of management by research, then the fees is only twenty three thousand five hundred, and you still get three year of post study work visa. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. Do, would you like to add on to that, Vandana? Yeah, so that's actually a very good um, option. Most of the students have so studying a master's program give you three years of post study work visa, and that's enough time for you to sort out your further options and work out things and meet the eligibility for for residents if that's what your plan is. So yeah, three years post completion of the master's program. All right, thank you, thank you, Vandana. So Arjuna. Yeah, we have a question. Um, the yeah. scholarships offered at Doihuma and WIT, is it application based or is it automatic scholarship? Sorry, I didn't get the question. The scholarships offered at Doihuma and WIT, is it application based or is it automatically given to a student? Doihuma is not giving any scholarship. Only WITT is giving $3,000 scholarship and it is for every student. Okay, thank you. Leah, over to you. All right, thank you, Archana. Um, another question we have is, uh, the viewer is asking, can I ask the cost of living of the student per month? So again, it depends whether you live in a flash flat or whether you need to live in a basic flat. If you, if you live in a temple, you can even stay free also. So it all varies, but roughly, uh, I have seen students living per week. If they are sharing a flat, it's around $200 per week, including food, electricity, and internet. Yeah. Um, yeah thanks, yeah. thanks, Mr. Paramdeep. I'll just like to add on here is um, that is what you may spend, what Mr. Paramdeep has uh, said, and immigration would still require you to show 20,000 New Zealand dollars for one year of living cost. So that's an evidence you need to provide. You may spend that much, you may spend much less, but immigration would need to see that. All right, thank you so much, Vandana. Artana, questions yes. coming from you? There is a question for you. Um, can we change our course after we come to the country and then get a visa variation? Mm -hmm. So uh, once you come on a student visa, there is a possibility to change the course, do a variation of condition, but at the same time, you would have to explain to immigration your reasons for the change. So did you not do the research properly the first time? Why was the need to change the program? So I would suggest it's better to do all your research um, and select the program carefully rather than uh, having a need to change it once you are on shore. So definitely that's a possibility, but you would incur a loss. There'll be a stress involved. There'll be an immigration application that goes in and not an ideal situation. You should be selecting the program very carefully in the first instance. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Vandana. So um, one attendee um, is asking how to get uh, the student visa processing going after the admission if there is no embassy near their country. If I'm not mistaken, um, this uh, viewer is asking from South Korea. Okay, so uh, we submit the applications. So if we have to assist you, uh, we would submit the applications online. So you don't have to go uh, personally and submit it in an embassy. The applications are submitted uh, online. And then you would have to, depending upon your nationality, you may be required to send your passport to the new, nearest visa application center 
uh, for scanning. So that's the only thing that may be required, but the applications can be done online, irrespective of whichever country you may be in. All right, thank you, Vandana. Um, any more questions coming from you, Archana? Yes, is there any teaching courses for adults, adult teaching, just like ECE, anything for adults? Yeah, yeah, we, Toyoma has that, but in February in day. We have postgraduate diploma in applied professional study, which has two specialization, uh, mentoring and leadership and adult teaching. And same way, we have 18 months of master of applied professional study. One specialization is mentoring and leadership. Other one is adult teaching. We need 65% marks in degree and one year of work experience. And then you can come in February intake. Again, if you do 18 months of master, there is a three year of post-study work visa. Fees is around 29,950 for the whole master, 18 months and you get three-year post-study work visa. You can bring your spouse on full-time work, right? Vanda, you can tell more about that. Yeah, so um, if a pro person is coming for a master's program, partners can come on a partnership-based work visa. So partners would have full-time work rights, partners can work for any employment uh, and for any duration and um, or in any position. So partners have full uh, open work rights. They can also be self-employed during that period. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Vandana. And um, to all our viewers, thank you so much for um, giving us your time in today's webinar. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we would have to um, answer other questions through email, which is you can contact us at contact at nzimmigration.info for um, further clarifications and more detailed query. So if you're interested to kickstart your application with Toy Ohomai or WIT and start your New Zealand migration journey, you can contact us at contact at nzimmigration.info. Um, once again, thank you so much, Vandana. Thank you so much, Palamdeep, uh, for sharing your time with us today and sharing um, the knowledge for our viewers on how they can start migrating here in New Zealand. So to our viewers, may you have a good day, may you have a good Thursday or Wednesday, wherever you are right now in, in the world. And thank you once again for joining. Any any uh, thank you message for our viewers, Paramdeep and Vandana? No, uh, I, I think there are still a lot of questions. At least there are a couple of them I, want, I will answer quickly. There is no age limit uh, in New Zealand as long as you can demonstrate that uh, okay. you, your primary purpose is to New Zealand is coming for study. You can get a visa if you have a valid work experience in between your gap that is done. And uh, for mechanical engineers, that graduate diploma in highway engineering is very good. And if you are working in, do you have done hospital diploma, you can get cross grade into bachelor of hospitality and tourism also. And somebody asked about teaching opportunities. So there are a lot of teaching opportunities right now in New Zealand, especially early childhood is in green list. And may, I think there's another one also, one that you can tell you is also in green list. You can come into that. Uh, as courses in computer science level nine, there are some other institute. I think NMIT has very good master of uh, 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 security. Uh, the IT security one is really good. So that there, there are a lot of options again, I think. And uh, uh, Leo will answer all of your queries by email. Uh, but thank you very much for attending this. Stay safe and healthy. And looking forward to see you all in New Zealand very soon. Yeah, thank you so much, Madam Deep Vandana. Thank you so much. Um, and I, yes, I can see a lot of questions which we um, unfortunately did not have time to answer. But um, please don't worry, rest assured, we would be answering all your questions uh, personally and we would get in touch with you, all of you who have asked these questions. And uh, time constraint is the reason we just couldn't handle and cover all these questions. So apologies for that though. Thank you Vandana, so much. Can for I answer the last one? There was one just came. Yes, please. Please. yes. So, yes. <laughs> Graduate Diploma in Production and Operation Management. So the, what happens is once you have finished that Graduate Diploma in Production and Operation Management, you get two to three months of gap in between. If you are able to find a job at that time in that, you can go on work permit, but the, uh, we will give you an option to enter into postgraduate. After just doing Graduate Diploma, if it is not in a green list, you won't get any post-study work visa. So that's why most of the time we are giving an offer letter, Graduate Diploma leading on to postgraduate. Uh, because then after doing this two years of study, you get one year of post-study work visa. But you get an opportunity in between after completing graduate diploma, if you are able to find a full-time job, 
you don't have to study further. You can go on a work visa straight away. And again, same immigration advisor, being a licensed immigration advisor, they can help you with that. But technical answer is there is no post-study work visa in graduate diploma if it is not in green list. So right now, the graduate diplomas in green list are that highway engineering, which WITT has. All right. Thank you so much, Paramdi. Thank you so much. And once again, to our attendees, thank you so much for your time. So feel free to email us at contact at nzimmigration.info. Once again, it's contact at nzimmigration.info. And we will definitely reach out to you and get back to your questions. So thank you once again. And um, good night from New Zealand. And take care and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.